Hi guys, I took apart an old printer the other night, got some rather nice electric motors out of it, all DC motors, but I also got these. These are the rollers that draw the paper through the printer. And I thought, well, they look ideal for wheels. So, um, for some reason three of them have rubber on them, and two of them don't. So I thought, let's make another quick rubber band powered car, just so I can try them out. I'm always looking for wheels for cars. So I'll use the ones with rubber for the back wheels, and the ones without rubber for the front wheels. I need something for the axle, and by coincidence, an ordinary ball pen. It seems to be just the right fit. So I think with a little bit of hot glue on there to hold it in place, we've got a good axle. So that's today's little project. Nothing to do with electric motors, just a very quick, very simple rubber band powered car. And for a chassis, I'm going to use a milk bottle. So it's four pints, 2.2 litre size. So I shall mark that up, poke some holes, at, well, I'll get rid of the milk first. Um, then I'll mark it up, poke some holes in it, and that'll be the chassis for the car. Okay, quick bit of cutting out. One problem with these milk cartons is they've got very little strength once you start cutting into them. So if I just try and attach a rubber band to the front here, it's going to buckle quite easily. So quick fix, I'm going to stick a barbecue skewer right the way from the back to the front and hopefully that will give us a bit of rigidity. bit of hot glue either end there and that should hold it in place. I need to make these holes here big enough for the ball pen to go through. My technique for making the holes in these is to start small and work my way up. So um, you can't just drill a great big hole straight through with that plastic, it's too soft, it'll make a real mess. All up together, just need to put a bit of hot glue on the axles to hold the wheels in place. And also I've put a toothpick through the back axle which I'll trim in a minute. I'll hot glue that in place to hook the rubber band on. The other end of the rubber band can hook onto here, although I think I'll take the point off. Test run time. Hook the rubber band over the front. Onto the peg on the axle. Oh, wheel spin. To cure the wheel spin, I've put a lead weight in the back. That's one of my old fishing weights, because this car is very light. Now that I've done that, I'm going to risk putting a stronger rubber band motor in there.
Okay, let's see how we go. Well, there we go, the full five meters. Summary time. What have we got here? We've got wheels made from printer rollers. They're the rollers that normally pull the paper through the printer. The axles are ball pen tubes. The chassis is a plastic milk carton. I've got one of my barbecue skewers going front to back there, hot glued in place just to make it a bit more rigid because that plastic is very soft. It's also a very light car so I've had to put a lead weight in the back there to keep the wheels on the ground. But we've just done five meters with it so that's all I ever ask for my cars. I'm quite pleased with that. I know I've got rather a lot of rubber band car videos in my channel but I just had to do that one because I wanted to do something with those rollers from the printer. I've always got my eye out for something that I can use for wheels and those worked absolutely fine. So, pleased with that.